What's up everybody, my name is Tentacle, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. I was trying to sync up the intro to when I entered this place for the sake of this video. Anyway, last time we got introduced to the Purple Comets, a very nasty prankster comet that's part of the post-game. And now we're going to the Ghostly Galaxy again, because there's one in orbit here. This mission is pretty short, so I think it would be a good way to start this video. Let's get going with... Purple Coins in the Bone Pen. Yep, it's set in a part of a very spooky sprint. Oh! And the music here is really good! This music is used for a lot of the purple coin missions in the game. And rightfully so, it's epic. Now I don't know if there are exactly a hundred purple coins in this, but... It still helps to collect as many of them as you can. Oh no, that's pretty slow. Oh no! Get over there, Mario! I don't know if starting with this one was a good idea. Because we're... Dead! Okay. We're, we're just dead. I might as well restart. Even though I'm not dead yet. Fat lot of good that's gonna do you, Mario! Come on! Three... Okay, do I still have to collect the star in three seconds? Oh, come on, man! I was so close. You gotta be kidding me. Let's get some of the coins that are over here. Two more, come on, game. There you go. Uh, Mario's gonna hit that mine, isn't he? Yep! But this is fine. Second try's the charm. I'll meet you guys at the next Purple Comet. Okay! Now we're here in the Battle Rock Galaxy, all the way back in the fountain, because it's time for... Purple Coins on the Battle Rock. This one's pretty easy as well. You just gotta navigate the cannon area of Battle Rock Barrage while collecting all 100 purple coins. It's not like the Ghostly Galaxy where there are more than 100. You have to get every single one. But remember, if you press ZR, or the B button if you're playing on the Wii, then you can shoot a star bit and destroy those cannonballs. They'll even give you a coin. There's a version of this that's in the Dreadnought Galaxy, but it's much harder. I consider that to be the hardest Purple Comet in the game, and one of the hardest levels in the game. I'm not joking. There are other Purple Comets that people say are harder? Nah. The Dreadnought Galaxy Purple Comet is the hardest level in the game. Well, one of the hardest. I'm gonna probably save that one for last. For that very reason. I knew you were gonna pop out there. Oh no. I hope to goodness I didn't miss any. Otherwise I would be a liar. Okay, no I didn't. Wow! That is some karma. Here I was, feeling all proud of myself, and then I get smacked in the face with a cannonball. Gimme that coin. Alrighty then. 
time for the next one. Whatever that's gonna be, I'll see you guys there. All right, now we're here in the Dusty Dune Galaxy in the bedroom. Because, honestly, I don't remember this prankster comet. Let's see what it is. Purple coins in the desert? Hmm. That doesn't sound very telling of what it is. Oh no! Wait a second, I remember! It's the last part of blasting through the sand! But there's a whole bunch of purple coins all over the place! Uh, it's a good thing this isn't on a time limit, because if it were, I'd probably spend 20 minutes trying to navigate this place. And the worst part is, some of these coins are in such high up areas, you have to use those tweesters to get there. There's even a coin on top of that thwomp. Oh, three coins. Okay. You can still reach them with a well-placed backflip, but the point still stands. These purple coins are up and down and all around, and you gotta get all of them. So we're gonna use this to do that. Very nice, Mario. Cancel out of the twister form by ground pounding, and then we're golden. By the way, I guess I should mention this. While I was looking for this prankster comet, the male toad at the Comet Observatory gave me my free five one-up mushrooms. That's not gonna matter anyway, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the last star of the episode. Believe me when I say, though, once we get further and further into this, the prankster comets, or I guess I should say the purple comets, are going to be ten times harder. I can only imagine how much more painful this one would be on a time limit. It makes matters worse when the tweesters are directly in the path of the purple coins. Never mind the fact that you have to use them to grab them, now they're directly in your way. Get out of here, dry bones. You bother me. And we go this way, get some star bits, and I'm pretty sure there are purple coins on this side. Yep, I was right. There are those tweesters that have debris in them. Not gonna talk to you just yet, Captain Toad. I got more coins to find. Yeah, see? I missed some. Dag Nabbit. I might as well get the ones that are over here, too. Then I'll meet you guys over on the other side. So, we go this way. Good. Thank you, Mario. Just gonna hitch a ride, and there we go. However, here's the hard part. How in the world am I gonna make this structure appear on the other side and 
get the purple coins that are over there quickly. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. That was way too close. Get me back in here. Thank you. I actually saw a few purple coins over here that are pretty easy to miss, so get those while you can. There we go. And now the last ones are gonna be on the other side. Before we do anything else though, let's take a quick peek. Did I miss any coins over here, game? Good luck, he says. Okay, I'm gonna need it, apparently. It doesn't look like I missed any of the coins, so... Let's mosey. Long jumping is your friend. And then I saw the last one down there, come on. Yeah, first try! And I believe that is gonna be a good stopping point. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, I guess the hunt for the Purple Comets continues. And things are definitely gonna be much more difficult from here on out. So, I'll see you guys then. This is Tentacles signing out. Take care, everybody.